Hey everyone, let's talk a little bit about book buying and bookstores because I went to a bookstore on the weekend. Yes, I know. It surprised me as well because I hadn't been in a bookstore for months, I guess, here. And the reason why I went was that there's a new movie coming out and it's based on a German novel by a German author that was apparently very popular in 2008 and I completely missed it, but it sounded like something that I might like. So I wanted to buy it and I went to a bookstore and I realized I hadn't been for ages because my favorite bookstore closed in January and I usually buy my books on Amazon because for German books, it doesn't really matter where you buy them. They cost the same almost everywhere. And English books are a lot cheaper on Amazon, so I usually order them. But when I went to the bookstore, I realized what I missed. Looking at new books, I mean, honestly, I was surrounded by all these beautiful covers and interesting sounding titles and books I had not heard of before, and I was overwhelmed. And of course, I didn't have the book that I wanted, but I still bought a book because I saw this beautiful thing. I mean, look at it. Beautiful, isn't it? The cover, the white, the red, totally talks to me. The title is interesting, Bonsai. I had not heard of this book before. It's a short hardback novella and the cover just drew me in. And then I read the first page, which I will not read to you because it's German, but I was like, wow, I want to have this. And that's what I love about bookstores. You just end up buying books that you have not heard of before. This is a short novella by a Latin American author, Alejandro Zambra, and I had not heard of this man before. And this novel talks about love and loss and relationships, and somehow he connects reading and sex, and it's amazing and not dirty. There is talk of sex and death in here, but not in a dirty or traumatizing way. It's very beautifully written. I love the German translation. I'm pretty sure there is an English translation out because on the back we have all these reference and praise for the book, which is not German at all. So there must be an English translation and honestly get it. So that's what I love about bookstores, that you can find things that you wouldn't buy otherwise because I had not heard of this book. I don't even know the person, but it got me to a diverse read of a Latin American author that I would not have bought otherwise. And of course, I also ordered the book, which I originally wanted to pick up on Saturday. And that's this one, Benedict Wells, Beck's Letzter Sommer. And this really is a no-go for publishers. So this is the movie tie-in. It looks really nice, doesn't it? Until I show you what it is. It is a sticker that is stuck to the original cover. What the hell? Why do people do that? And now I do have this cover, which I would have never picked up. I don't like the organist book style. Diogenes is the publisher. They're very popular in Germany. They have a lot of books and they all look alike. They all have a white cover, this cover design, a picture, the title and the font. I like nothing of this. Nothing. Really, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And I really would have liked to have a real movie tie-in. Other than that, this is a really good novel. I'm halfway through. It's supposed to be a road novel, but we're still not on the road, so I'm not really sure when that happens. But it's about this 37-year-old music teacher who wanted to be a musician, and then he discovers this young student of his who really is amazing, apparently. And we are in the world of this music teacher and his mind, and this is not a happy person. He's very frustrated, he's very cold-hearted, and he's very bleak, and yeah, I don't know where it goes, but at the moment he's very pitiful. And we have some foreshadowing of things going wrong, so I really like that. I actually don't know if there's a translation of this in English, but I really like it so far. Now, I know that I'm very peculiar when it comes to picking up books that I have never heard of before, but I would like to know if you feel you're missing out on something if you don't go to a bookstore, like when you always order online, because when ordering online, I always know what I want to get, so I don't browse around that much. And I feel browsing around a bookstore just gives you other inspiration. So let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.